New tonight, we're asking what is next in Piqua after the Heritage Festival ends its 32-year run. New to 11, Robert Lowry digs into the reasons behind the end of the event. Well, Labor Day weekend won't be the same here in Piqua with the Heritage Festival going away. Some sad to see it go. Others, however, not ready to give it up. It's been here since I was a little kid. More than 30 years, this has been the site for the annual Piqua Heritage Festival. Now, this field at the Johnson Farm and Indian Agency will be a little quieter come Labor Day. That's crazy. Everyone, you know, goes to that every year. There's not a whole lot to do in Piqua, so. The festival board announced Tuesday they would no longer be able to support it. A lack of volunteers, funding, and support will have this gate closed for the festival. You just kind of hate to start cutting back and then making big dents in it because it's been such a big success the way it has ran. Chuck McLaughlin, the general chairman for the festival, says it takes about 2,000 volunteers and $90,000 to run the three-day festival, neither of which they were able to attain the last few years. The day after the board's announcement, support started coming in on social media sites like Facebook to raise money, even to get volunteers to help. More than a thousand members joined, hoping to bring the festival back. But McLaughlin says any festival they might be able to put on would be as big a change as night and day. In my personal opinion, the, the, the festival as it existed before Monday, I don't see any way we could take it. You may be able to put one on for another year, but after that year, people are going to see such a drastic cut that, that they're not going to not patronize it the following year. If it is truly gone for good, some in Piqua will at least have something good to look back on. The memories, the good times of it, when something's around that long and you go to it, you know, I've been to it for the most part every year since I was a little kid. I at least go there at least once to go in and get some kettle corn or something. Now, I also spoke with Johnson Farm earlier today. They tell me that they are focusing on other events as of yet. They have not planned anything to replace the Heritage Festival. Reporting in Piqua, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.